Hello Newsies, it's Monday, July 13th, and the only news you need to know is coming at you faster than Fox canceled Firefly. Too soon. I'm Sai, here to navigate you through the verse of your weekly news words. In film, telly, and other things you consume with your eyes, we were treated to a veritable media buffet of teasers, trailers, and sneak peeks. Doctor Who and Con Man released new trailers, BBC Sherlock gave us a still and a clip of the upcoming Victorian era special, and the new Ghostbusters film made us all giddy with images of the new Ecto-1, a brand new Ecto-2, and behind the scenes shots of the crew suited up. And we weren't without new announcements either. Elector was officially announced as being in Netflix's Daredevil season two. Han Solo is getting his own Star Wars spinoff film to be directed by the Lego movie directors. We got our first official look of new Terry Brooks-based series, The Shannara Chronicles, and Ben Affleck has been confirmed that he will be starring and directing in the new Batman reboot, as well as co-writing the film with DC's comics, Jeff Johns. The battle between Superman and Batman has captured the imaginations of millions, except for me, apparently, but there is a new trailer that comes highly recommended. Lastly, the Warcraft movie took the opportunity offered by San Diego Comic-Con to come out in force, bringing with them props such as armor, shields, weapons, and life-sized models of two of the main characters. On a more personal note, this is some of the most depressing news for me this week as I am now seriously in danger of falling into a WoW-shaped life pit again. At least until No Man's Sky is released. The indie game released 18 minutes of gameplay footage that I have now watched six times. It's beautiful, it's immersive, I want it in an Oculus, and I want it feeding directly into my brain. Street Fighter has redesigned Ken to no longer look and play like the blonde Neger Ryu. Witcher 3 announced that the combined two upcoming expansions will roughly equal all of Witcher 2 in gameplay length. 1979 Revolution released a new trailer and it continues to look like the Pandora's box of moral quandary I'm hoping it will be, and Call of Duty Black Ops 3 showed off its zombie mode, which stars Jeff Goldblum and Ron Perlman in some sort of 40s noir candy explosion adventure. Having never been much of a COD fan when it comes to shooters, I'm perplexed. I'm intrigued, I'm excited, and these feelings confuse me. Comics news is all San Diego Comic-Con all the time. New comics publisher Aftershock released their launch lineup, which includes authors like Game and Ennis and Bennett, but no word on artists yet. Warren Ellis is writing the new James Bond comic, Vertigo announced 12 new titles, Tokyo Pop is back to shovel more glorious decadent manga into our needy hands, and the new Batman comic introduced us to its new Batmobile. A ridiculous train of a vehicle fulfilling roles of both transportation and housing simultaneously. Frank Miller is back to continue the Dark Knight storyline with the questionably titled The Dark Knight 3, The Master Race. Other Comic-Con series announcements include a new Chewbacca comic, a Legend of Korra graphic novel, and a new Joss Whedon creation called Twist, which answers the question, why isn't there a female Victorian Batman? Every social media feed you have is probably filled with pictures of Pluto this week as New Horizons makes its way to the once planet. Amazon is throwing its own particular Black Friday on July 15th, which will likely consume all of my liquid assets. New deals will be issued every 10 minutes, so expect steam-like insanity on a monstrous consumer scale. An American maker of giant robots issued a battle challenge to a Japanese maker of giant robots that has been accepted. No idea where or when the throwdown will be, but the Japanese are, rightfully, issuing guns for Rock'em Sock'em type robot punch-out. Gaming YouTuber PewDiePie brought in 7 million in revenue last year, which blew up on news sites and social media, which he discussed in his video this week. Logitech is dropping the tech from its name, saying, Tech is everywhere. Tech is in the air you breathe. It's in your clothes. In the future, tech doesn't say anything. A major government computer spying agency called Hacking Team was, ironically, hacked this week, and their financial and business documents strewn across the GitHubs. The shady company was one of several targeted for their loose moralities in providing spy services to countries with citizen rights violations. And in the ongoing saga of Reddit, Ellen Pao, CEO, apologized for having screwed up with the moderator community, admitting that they had not given the mods the support and communication they needed for the past two years. And then she stepped down, called an amicable split Powell will continue to advise the company, however the original CEO and co-founder of Reddit, Steve Huffman, will be taking over. And the coolest thing on the internet is the unforeseen usage of Deep Dream, an artificial neural network created by Google to simulate how neurons perceive images. After opening up the algorithm to the public, people have been feeding constant streams of images into it, creating terrifying and disturbing visual hellscapes. One particularly twisted individual uploaded a scene from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and the compounded drug-addled results will sustain my most unnerving nightmares for years to come. And that's everything that happened this week. Newsies with never-ending news needs can check the description for links of anything I covered today, and I'll see you next week with another round of news words.